Welcome to This Week in the Asia Pacific, presented by The Diplomat. Today is January 20th, 2023, and here's your roundup of this week's Asia news. On January 15th, a Yeti Airlines plane crashed while en route to a brand new airport in Pokhara, Nepal. At least 68 are dead in Nepal's worst airline accident since 1992. On January 16th, during a visit to the UAE, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol called Iran the UAE's enemy and compared it to North Korea. The comment has sparked a diplomatic spat between South Korea and Iran. On January 17th, Vietnam's President Nguyen Xuan Phuc resigned his post, making him the first top Vietnamese leader to do so. Phuc is believed to have been implicated in a broader graft scandal related to Vietnam's COVID-19 response. On January 18th, renowned Filipino journalist and Nobel laureate Maria Ressa was acquitted of tax evasion. Advocates saw the ruling as a win for press freedom in the Philippines. On January 19th, New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern resigned in a surprise announcement. New Zealand is due for general elections in October 2023. Ardern's Labour Party will elect a new leader to serve as Prime Minister in the meantime. On January 20th, India's External Affairs Minister Jai Shankar met Sri Lanka's president in Colombo. India says it has offered financial assurances to the IMF to clear the way for a badly needed bailout package amid Sri Lanka's ongoing debt crisis. That's the biggest news from the Asia Pacific this week. For more on these and other stories, check out thediplomat.com.